For practice it self check 4.23 last first, we were asked to write a method named last first that accepts a string as its parameter representing a person's first and last name. We're given this example right here where we have the method call. And we are also given what the return should be right here. So we know that we have to return a string. That means when we write our method, we are going to make it a public static string. And then we will have our method name, which is last first. And then our parameter, which is going to be type string. And we will call it name inside of here. We will have our brackets and now we can start writing inside of our method. So first thing that we need to do since we're being passed two things in one string is break these apart. To do this, we're going to use a scanner and have this space be the delimiter. And the delimiter is basically anything that separates two things. So we will have a scanner and we will call it scan and set it equal to a new scanner, which takes the name as a scanner. So we're passing in our string name inside of here. After we do this, we want to get the first thing. And this first thing is going to be our first name since we're passing the first name and then the last name. We have to notice in here that we want the first character of our first name and nothing else. So we're going to need something to store this in. We're going to call it care because it's a character. And then we are going to call this first. And since it's our first, that's why we give it the name first. But this could be anything. It just needs to be of type character since it's a character. What we're going to do is we need to get the first string, which is Marla. In this example, we need to first get this and then pull the first character out of here. So we need to get that string. We're going to have a scan dot next. And this gets the next thing that gets the next thing, which is currently our first thing in this scanner. And then after we get this right here, then we want to grab the first character. This is at the zeroth index. So we're going to have dot char at or dot character at char at. So we'll have dot char at index zero. This gets the character at our very first zeroth index. This is our first name. After this, we need the last name. So we could store it in a value or we could just have it in our return statement. I'll demonstrate both. We will have a string and we will call this last to stay consistent and we'll set it equal to scan.next. That way it gets the next value or part, which is singer in this example. And then we just need to return this down here. So to return this, what we're going to do is have a return. We want our last name, so we'll have last. We want a comma in here. So this is going to be a string that we need to type in manually. We have a comma, another plus to add to this. And then we want our first character, which is called first. And then we want a dot. So we have to have a plus and then parentheses with a dot in it. And then we are going to end this line and submit. After we submit, we have passed all four tests. Now, we did store the last name in this string right here. But if we wanted to, we could also just do almost the same return, except instead of calling last, just call scan.next. If we type this incorrectly with parentheses, we will see that we get the exact same answer. So this version basically just does not store it inside of a string, and it prints it out straight like this. But that is the answer to practice it self-check 4.23 last first.